season in its entirety. Um, from a program standpoint, uh, I think we're very happy with where we are. Um, you know, we've shown a lot of great spots. Um, at times, we played like the best football team in Canada. Um, at times, we didn't. And um, I think the kids are really starting to believe in, uh, in what we're trying to accomplish here. So from a program standpoint, I couldn't be happier. From a season standpoint, I am very disappointed. Um, I felt we should have been five and three. Um, I think we let three football games get away from us. And um, you know, that comes, that comes with maturity. So like I said, in terms of program growth, I think we've made a huge leap to the next level. But uh, I, uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say this season wasn't a disappointment. We uh, had a ceremony before the game for 13 graduating players. If you could just talk generally about what they meant to the program and what you're going to miss about them. Um, you know what? 13, 13 very good kids. Um, definitely be dearly missed, and uh, I'm excited that they're going to be future alumni. Uh, hopefully very successful and sending us lots of money. Um, but that being said, there were, there were some great kids there, and, you know, it's – it's hard to replace that kind of character in the locker room. Um, and you know, unfortunately, we just gotta, we just gotta get the young kids we have in this program right now to grow up in a hurry. And uh, you know, it, it's their team now. So we're gonna have a lot of second and third year kids that are gonna be the leaders on this team for, uh, for a couple of years to come. And uh, who do you think you'll be counting on from those second and third year kids moving into next year? Wow, there's some great kids. You know, obviously we're real excited to have um, Miles Gibbons back. Uh, I think uh, spending the off season with us, working with Coach Falls, um, getting ready for next season, um, I don't think there's a better quarterback in the country. And there's no other quarterback I'd want to run my program than Miles Gibbons. So Miles is going to put a lot on his shoulders next year. We got an unbelievably um, talented secondary, uh, young kids like Josh Small. And uh, Chris States, uh, Nana Nakanza, um, Jordan Nugent, like those kids are dynamite, and, and the OUA is in for something when uh, when these kids step on the field next year. Uh, obviously, we have some good young linebackers, Michael Ronowski, Hussein Hazime. Um, we we have a solid core. We're going to recruit heavily on defensive line, shore up the defensive front, and on offense, we got a real talented group of young receivers. Um, led by Poops, um, sorry, led by uh, Devontae Hobbs. I don't remember him as Poops, I'm sorry. Uh, Devontae Hobbs, he's going to lead this great young core. Um, we have a couple of young kids that didn't even dress, Quentin Gregory and, uh, and uh, Ryan Dunaway, who are just going to be outstanding. So the future is really, really bright for this team. And to think our whole offensive line was either in their first or second year is, is pretty outstanding for what's going to happen in, uh, for in years to come. And what would you say is the biggest positive that you can take out of this season? The biggest positive out of this season? Um, sum it up in a word, resiliency. Um, I, I've said it a lot these last eight weeks, but our kids definitely were resilient. Um, we've had some bad luck, we've had some bad breaks, but I can't think of a game that these kids ever quit and they just kept crawling and doing anything they could to gain that extra inch and so that's definitely something I'm really proud of. And what comes next for the program? Recruiting. Recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Um, you know, if a day goes by and you haven't recruited that day, you're a failure. So uh, we're going to make sure we recruit every day and uh, we're going to bring in 30 future champions next year. So that's what the coaching staff's gonna focus on for the next little while.